Uh, I'll just say I've not had a good experience ever with LastPass. Okay, good to know. Last <laughs> Last Last is in a real like QNAP section of my mind where <laughs> these are companies But, that I just wouldn't touch with a ten but, foot pole. but kind of worse because I think we've talked about how the usability and the features of LastPass aren't even any more compelling than the other options. There's actually like, like, like if I were, if I'm trying to put myself in a position where I was trying to sell LastPass and I was like a super honest salesman, I don't know what I could actually sell as a, as a feature to LastPass that wouldn't make me like a liar. Because I feel like the interface isn't better. I feel like the features aren't better. Obviously, it's rev like its revenue model is significantly worse because it has this super weird free plan now, where you can either use it on laptop <laughs> or slash desktop or mobile. You can't use it on both, which is intentionally meant to make people upgrade. It's super expensive for what it is, and they now have several data breaches. And the way they dealt with the data breaches also wasn't good either. And it's not open source. And they lock you into their ecosystem and make it hard to leave. So if you're still in LastPass now, you're fine. It's still good that you're using a password manager, and I'm happy you're doing that. But I would really be looking at Bitwarden or something else because I, I'm, I'm trying to like justify in any situation where LastPass is good. Unlike QNAP, where we can at least say it has some neat features. I can't name a single like unique feature to LastPass that is actually cool and useful for people.